Bob? You look festive. That's it. I mean, thank you, but no witty comment about how wrong I am. No, actually. Nope. I know that saving the environment is super important to you, so I've decided I'm gonna let you have this one. Really? Yep. I mean, I can understand how difficult it must be to remain carbon neutral when you're made of paper. And I just wanted to say that I think it's really inspiring that you're willing to give up your dream of opening a burger taco fusion food truck on Maui to make it happen. I am? Well, I mean, if we're gonna make the switch from hydrocarbons to other forms of energy production, it would mean dramatically expanding solar and wind output. Physics puts a hard limit on the amount of energy those sources are able to produce. So we just need more solar and wind farms, right? But they take up a lot of room. Room that's generally being used for other things, like wildlife preserves, which I assume you wouldn't want to touch. Correct! And agriculture. But we still have to eat something, just maybe something that's less land intensive. Something less meaty. No meat? No meat. And no truck, by the way, because, you know, no gasoline. And no Maui, since you won't want to do any air travel because of the environmental impacts of jet fuel. I mean, I guess we could go back to sailboats, but that would take a long time. Like, a really, really long time, and we'd have to start cutting down trees for the lumber, and I suppose one day we might figure out how to create a better battery that can store more energy for longer amounts of time, but right now it costs about $200,000 to store the same amount of energy in electric batteries that you can get out of a $60 barrel of crude oil. And it doesn't store as long. And you have to mine all that rare earth and lithium and cobalt, and then smelt it and actually make the battery. So I suppose it's really a matter of where in the life cycle you want the emissions, the front end or the back end. But you know, I said I wasn't gonna ruin this for you, Bob. I'm proud of you. Actually... Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please check out fee.org for more educational content. Thank you.